I'm Robert Jordan with Vancouver Native Housing Society and we're at the Orwell Hotel today. The construction was completed in 1910. It's a 55-unit SRO building in Vancouver's downtown east side. We've had some ongoing issues with a boiler and we weren't having very much success finding funding for a boiler replacement. And uh, we called BC Nonprofit and they came down very quickly within a week or two and they did a level one energy audit walkthrough and that's how it all got started. So this is just going to be a basic walkthrough audit of the building. Maybe we can start with the boiler room. Take, I'll take some photos of there and just take some notes. Um, we do one floor of the lighting, just take a look at the hallways. Can we get access to the rooftop then? Yeah, okay, absolutely. so we'll take a look at the mechanical up there. Great, so let's see your boiler room. Okay, Okay. great, Thanks. let's go. This is the boiler room. Okay. Uh, and this is our boiler right here. It's, it's it's undersized for the building, and we've been having a lot of problems with it. Okay. And, you know, um, a lot of emergency overtime service calls. Yeah. With uh, flow switches and high temperature shutoffs, okay. uh, heat exchanger issues. Do you know? Do you remember how old this is? It's actually not past its useful life, but because it's undersized, um, it's. It's working hard. It, it, it's working hard, okay. and it appears older than it is. Okay, I think uh, there's definitely some conservation measures we can do there, either with a condensing unit or even looking at um, like a heat, heat pump uh, yeah, plus electric. the hot water. Yeah, this is an interesting this is piece. The old boiler. Yeah, that's coal fired. Wow. All right, and I see you've got your tanks over here. I'll take some photos of those as well. We'll need to replace those as well. Okay. Wow, there's a... T12s. Yeah, they still... Uh, yeah. They're still here. If you come take a look, and you can see the way it flickers. Oh, yeah. That's how you can tell it's a magnetic ballast. We have some opportunities for uh, incentives to change those. Uh, yeah, there'll be some... There'll definitely be energy savings on the T12s. And... Um, yeah, the payback from the energy savings is actually pretty quick. Oh yeah, there's another one. Got another circular fluorescent. No opportunity there. Yeah. Okay, so here's the mechanical, the makeup air unit. It's right is over here. Gas. It's gas fired. Gas fired, okay. Have you guys had any problems with it? Not, not really, no. Okay. It keeps okay. on running. Nice. Okay, I'll take some photos. And you got some heat pumps over here too? Yes. So these are serving the main floor, that's the, the offices? Yes, common areas. Okay, common yeah. areas, yeah. Okay. Great. Awesome. You guys got a nice view. It's great. So I've put together a report for Robert at Vancouver Native Housing in their Orwell Hotel based on the audit that we've just done. And what's really nice about these reports is that um, Robert can send this to his board and they can take a look at what their options are. I mean, they do have some equipment that's failing right now that definitely needs to be replaced. But you know, they can take a look and see in future years, maybe they want to do their lighting, um, you know, the following year, and they can plan out their finances. Uh, working with Robert and other property managers, um, what's really great about it is that we can give them a little bit of assistance, um, providing them what their next options are, and then they can get to work on those, helping their clients so they can save money, save energy, and just be able to support their tenants even better and that feels great. So in the, on these bigger issues like boiler repairs or building envelope issues or, or energy retrofits, they don't necessarily fall within the scope of uh, 
regular maintenance or replacement reserve uh, funding. And we have to follow a very uh, strict procurement process. Uh, and it can get really complicated when you have uh, multiple utility companies or working with uh, multiple government agencies. And the BC Nonprofit Housing Association really helps us to navigate that process.